is a long awaited video. I know that I get hounded all over my TikTok, but I feel like I can't really go into depth on this tutorial on just TikTok. So I think this is perfect for a YouTube video. We are going to be doing my blowout routine using the Dyson Air Wrap. I switched between the blow dryer and the Air Wrap, but unfortunately, I broke my Dyson blow dryer. So we're gonna be using the air wrap, which I still love so, so much. Starting off with products that I use before I blow up my hair. I always, always, always go in with the IGK 4-in-1 prep spray. It is detangling, 24-hour frizz control, heat protectant, and high shine. I love this. I re buy this literally all the time. And if I don't use that, then I use K18, which I really love, but I just ran out of it two weeks ago. I need to get a new bottle. And recently, I've been using the Red Kinesthetic Bonding Concentrate Leave-In Treatment. You use it after the shower. I actually just used it today. Um, I'm not sure if I've noticed much of a difference with it in yet. I feel like you need to use the shampoo conditioner with it as well, which I do love that shampoo conditioner. Um, so maybe I'll try that out, but that's just what I use today. And then I just use this, like, I think it's a Thor bristle brush. I don't really know. But every single thing that I've used is going to be linked on my Amazon storefront under my favorite hair products, including my shampoo and conditioners that I love all the time and I switch between. So anyways, let's just plug in my blow dryer and get into this. Before we start anything, you're just going to want to rough blow dry your hair about 80% of the way. I feel like this is the best way to get curls in your hair and it's just so much easier and way less time consuming, especially with the air wrap. So I'm just gonna rough blow dry it first. Okay, now that my hair looks absolutely insane, I sectioned my hair because it's really, really thick into about three to four parts. Obviously, you can section this as however you want, um, but like I said, this is just my personal preference because I have so much hair and I wanna make sure I get every section. We move on to the round brush and that's what we're gonna use for each section. So I always like to do my curls facing away from my face, so it's gonna go probably about a piece this size if you want it tighter curls do thinner pieces if you want bigger bouncier curls use like thicker pieces so you're going to take the piece of hair and you're going to put it at the top and you're going to just like blow dry it rough blow dry it down i like to just twist it a little bit at the bottom so it starts the curl you just keep doing this until it's like kind of blow dried at the root and once it is this is when you're going to twist the hair around and you're going to twist it up and you're going to hold it and then you're going to twist it out of there and pull it down and then you're gonna keep doing the same thing until it's dried, like completely dried. So that's the best explanation, but I'm gonna let you guys watch it. I like to make sure the root is completely dry, so I'll let that sit up there for a few. So I just want to hold it for a few seconds. Okay. And then you have your first curl done. Okay, so now this side's done. We're going to move on to this side. It's going to be the same exact thing that we just did on this side, but it's gonna be now facing away from your face on this side. Okay, so now both sides are done. You can tell that there's just a nice curl in it. We're gonna take down the next section. It's easier to show you guys than explain it, so I hope that I'm showing it well enough. We're still looking good here. Now we're gonna take down, what did I say this is 
the last section i don't know what we're gonna do is split off the front piece because i like to do this a little bit different than the rest so okay final piece i like to be really gentle with this piece of hair because it's like my most fried all hair so i normally would use a blow dryer but i currently don't have one so i'm going to use a round brush and use the blow drying tool on here and i just blow it out using this i don't know i just don't want to put as much heat on it you know Like of course, this is just personal preference. You can easily blow dry your hair with this. My hair just like is super dead in the, in this spot, so as less heat and damage as possible. Like I said, everything I use is going to be linked on my storefront. But now you see how these front pieces look crazy. I go back in, blow dry them like this. Now that we look crazy, we're gonna take a Moroccan hair oil. And you don't have to do this if you want your curls to like last, but truthfully, I just like a bouncy blowout. So I run my fingers through it. <laughs> like my hair just really holds a curl. So it's kind of crazy, but this is pretty much my blowout routine. This normally calms down after a little while. So I like to just keep them bouncy and, um, tight curls for a little bit don't forget to use a heat protectant always like even if you're not using these products that is my number one recommendation is just using a heat protectant okay so that concludes my blowout tutorial i hope this helps you guys if you have any questions please let me know message me on instagram comment it on here but anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video today's vlogmas day six pretty sure and yeah, all right. Good night, you guys. I love you all.